It is so much fun to be with you. I'm calling Jesus to come and lay his hand on you so that you will see that amazing part, that middle candle, the fourth candle in the menorah. It's called exhorter. It's the bright light part of you, the, the encourager. Think about the sun, moon, and the stars. When God created the earth, that fourth day of creation, it perfectly matches you because you're such a bright light. And the fourth furnishing in the tabernacle was that huge bright menorah, the lampstand, the candles, all bright. There's a theme of fire there. You can be fiery, and that makes you so much fun and bright. We love that about you. Do you see how much fun you have being with people? You love people. You're so good at making people feel welcome. You smile with your eyes. Wow, what a bright face you have. Do you realize that that's God's gift in you? It's His bright light shining through you so that you can help all your friends and your family to see the bright light of Jesus. That's what that part of you is designed to do. That's your greatest calling, is to be with Jesus, receive His light, hear His love messages, know Him, and then to turn it loose, let it shine and let everyone see Jesus. You are a natural leader. Has anybody ever told you that? People just look to you. They love what you bring to the group. You're like a party on wheels. And when you come in the room, everything sort of starts sparking. It gets happier. That is a gift of God in you. You will be a great big brother. You can put your arm around someone who's a little bit insecure, a little bit afraid, and just your presence with them, like a big brother, comforts them. It helps them know the way they should go. You have a very good uh, capacity, a great ability to speak and communicate. You have a wonderful command of languages. Can you tell that? Don't you love new words? Don't you love to hear words rattling on your tongue? That's part of your gift. And when you speak, you'll be able to communicate spirit to spirit, right to their heart. You can sit down with a total stranger, and they feel comfortable with you. When you're with a group, have you ever noticed that you kind of rally the team, almost like a coach, to say, hey, this is what we need to do. This is what we're like. You're really good at sort of casting the vision for a group. What a needful thing is that. We need leaders like you. But your strength is going to come from all your quiet time with Jesus. You've got to go vertical. You could go horizontal. That means you could be friend-focused 
and that will be a trap for your heart. So going vertical means that you get quiet. Pull the blankets around you. Get your Bible. Get in a quiet place and connect with God. That will take a really strong muscle in your heart. You're going to have to use your yes and your no muscle to push activities and people away so that you can connect directly with Abba Father and Jesus. For they are the bright sunshine in your heart. They're the truth and the light. You've got to have them or you're no party at all. You're no much, you're not much fun to be with apart from Jesus. You got that? So make sure that you're not worried about what other people think or whether or not you're showing up to enough parties or being Mr. Party Guy. You don't have to worry about how you look. The only thing you really need to do in order to shine brightly the way God designed you to shine is make sure you're plugged in to the power source. Kind of like your lamp behind your bed. Did you notice how if that lamp gets unplugged, there's no light? That's how you are. You got to stay plugged in, plugged into the power source, the Almighty God. And in Him is all power and authority shining brightly in you, speaking in your voice. What a blessing you are. I love you. I hope you see that bright light part of your heart. I bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.